Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, I'm Christian, and I have your word for the day. In our current environment full of conflict, division, and unrest, Matthew 5, 9 is an encouragement to our souls. It states, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Jesus' words resonate with a profound truth. Those who actively pursue peace are not only blessed, but also identified as children of God, true heirs of the King. Jesus, the one who preached those words, is the ultimate peacemaker and desires for us to live our lives based on the example that He modeled for us. He not only brought reconciliation between humanity and God, but also emphasized the importance of mending human relationships. So what is the best way to actively work for for peace? I believe the best way is through love. I recommend starting each day reading the Bible, recognizing the redemption in your life that has been bought and paid for through Jesus' sacrifice. Jesus, who did not sin, took your sin upon himself and paid the penalty for that sin by dying on the cross for you and for me. Humbly acknowledge your dependence on God, because when you are truly dependent on God, you are more likely to follow His direction for you in His Word. And speaking of His Word, in Romans 12, 9 through 13, it says, Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer, contribute to the needs of the saints, and seek to show hospitality. Another thing, being a peacemaker goes beyond simply avoiding conflicts. It involves actively working to resolve disputes, promoting understanding, and fostering an environment where people can flourish together. True peacemakers mirror God's heart and reflect His character in their interaction with others. The best example we have of a peacemaker is Jesus, and fortunately for us, His life story is in this book. The more we read and understand Jesus' life, the more of an example we have to follow. If you're somebody that often finds yourself in arguments, maybe it's time to go through the boxes in your attic and pull out the old WWJD bracelet. When tensions rise, asking yourself, what would Jesus do in this situation, will retrain your brain to understand His character and model it, rather than allow your sinful nature to react in anger. As we navigate our daily lives, let's remember that our identity as children of God is linked with our commitment to peace. Display the character of Christ, coming from a position of humility, grace, and love in all our interactions throughout your day. In doing so, we not only experience the blessings of a life devoted to peace, but also shine as radiant witnesses of God's kingdom in a world desperately in need of unity. I hope this is an encouragement to you and that the example you lead will point others to a life-changing relationship with Jesus. Have a great day.